I'm Hulk Hogan, the greatest wrestler of all time. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! You're a spaceman, huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't go anywhere without getting a boner. How you doing? I live my life. Woo! The Rock says, Sweet baby Jesus in the office. Hi everyone, you're watching the Wrestle Rock Podcast Season 5. I'm Johnny D, and I am with my partner Benoit, aka Nostradamus Ben. How's it going today, my friend? Fine, and you? Yes, I'm going super great, and it's always a pleasure for being here for the Season 5. Me too? Yes, and you know what? Uh, the ninth wonder of the world, or maybe the tenth wonder the, of the, the world. The tenth wonder of the world, <laughs> so I'm talking about... Uh, the China syndrome, uh, the sen uh, the cosplay. sensation uh, cosplay. cosplay. Yes, I'm talking about uh, Sarah Page. Uh, how are you today, Hi, my friend? I'm good. How are you? Yes, Fine. I'm going super great. We discovered you couples of uh, weeks ago. Uh, because um, there is uh, uh, pictures of you and Sean Waltman um, who crossed uh, all the globe. And <laughs> when we discover you, we saw, uh, first of all, a bodybuilder because uh, you are very involved in uh, this kind of stuff. But you're also uh, a manager for uh, indie uh, promotion in UK, right? No, I've I've done um, some valet work when I was in America. Oh, um, okay, in America. okay, nice, nice. Uh, and, um, so uh, go ahead with the the first question, yeah, my friends. Uh, okay, Mrs. Page, uh, Sarah, uh, we'd like to know what kind of girl you were when you were young. Oh, when I was I was a weird kid. <laughs> like <laughs> I was into climbing trees. I, I'm a tomboy. Like I'm not girly. <laughs> <laughs> um climbing trees animals like um my dad was in the police force so we had police dogs okay we had chickens cats you name it <laughs> i was happy with my animals i was just nice. I was <laughs> and uh, just earlier we were talking about the bodybuilding so uh, how long have you been trained for uh for the bodybuilding um well i've been lifting weights for about Oh gosh, five years now. Um, oh, but I oh, walked okay. into my gym I'm at now about a okay. year ago, like really shy. I'm like, I want to be a professional bodybuilder. I want to compete. So okay. yeah, it's been a year bulking up. <laughs> And we saw that uh, you met um, the greatest of all time. I'm talking about uh, Ronnie Coleman uh, a couple of weeks ago. So um Can you share with us uh, this experience? Yeah, so my my gym, um, the, the fitness station. Okay. And um, oh. had a meet and greet with Ronnie Coleman. So I was like, oh my God, Ronnie Coleman's coming. <laughs> yeah. Um, so obviously I had to get tickets. So that was really cool because like I sat and talked to him and I was like, I'm I'm going to be competing for the first time this year. Um, and he gave me some good advice. He's like, just train hard, stay consistent and you can do it. But he was, he, he was so cool to me, quite honestly. Yes, and he probably recommend you uh, a couple of things about training, for sure, you know? Yeah. Couples of, uh, of advice? Well, yes, couples of advice, yeah. you know. Um, go ahead, my friend. Yeah, uh, where does your admiration for cosplay come from? Or came from? So, like, I can remember this as a kid. Like, <laughs> I always liked like dressing up. It was yeah. just a thing. like we had these books, like my mum used to make me costumes, okay. like all that kind of stuff. I always wanted my face painted. I always was into that. Um, I went to my first Comic-Con in 2015. I, I was desperate to go to a Comic-Con. I talked a friend into going with me um, and I was hooked. So I've been cosplaying now since 2015. So nine years. 
Yeah. Oh, nice. And I know that you have a couples of a uh, few um, suit. Uh, I saw you uh, dressed as uh, Harley Queen. That awesome <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was my original was, character that yeah. I, I did Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you play any uh, other sports uh, when you were young, or? Uh, I like at school. I liked um, shot put. I know it's weird. I like the heavy stuff. Okay, 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 so, okay. That and hockey. So you are in the right place, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, perfect. Okay, yeah. uh, have you always loved wrestling, or did uh, Johnny Lauer, aka, aka China, inspired you to love it? So it's, a, it's actually a funny story. I was quite late to wrestling, so like my family are quite different, um, so I never really knew about wrestling. And my ex-husband used to watch wrestling. Okay, it, it was 2015. Oh, okay. We started watching WWE, and I like, this is cool. And then people started saying to me, you should cosplay China. I'm like, you are? <laughs> I had to go and look. And I was like, oh, my God, this woman is amazing. I'm mm -hmm. watching oh, yeah. her stuff. Yeah. And I, I was strong. Yeah. And you have the, the, the practically the same skill. So that that's that's awesome for real. And um, do you meet him, uh, her, sorry? The, do you meet her did, or no? no did, did you? Okay, no. He passed okay. away before I started. Oh. Okay. 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 Uh, In 2016, if my memory is good. Yes. Uh, would you prefer China in the the the, the, the Generation X or during her uh, single runs? <laughs> That's a hard one because I suppose a single run just because she did what no woman's done since. Mm -hmm. um so showing that power and a woman can do exactly what a man can do i was like this is amazing cool. okay uh, recently you met the uh, x-pack uh, sean waltman of course what was uh, his reaction when he saw your dressing as his ex-girlfriend johnny laurer for the first time so i didn't see this because i don't like staring at people so we're in the queue um okay. to meet and my best friend was with me and he started right. laughing and I'm like, what? He's like, x pack just took a double take, like really shocked. And then he kind of smiled and nodded his head. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> so that was really cool. But when I spoke to him, he was like, so nice. Like, Awesome. Uh, I know that you are uh, involved in pro wrestling for a, a short time because I, I, I saw a couple, uh, few pictures. So... Uh, as a manager for uh, in in uh, indie wrestling uh, guy named uh, Rush Freeman, if my memory is good, so do you think that one day uh, wrestling fans could could see you in a in a wrestling ring? If I push my training, that's what I hope for. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, and uh, for Please, uh, pre uh, closing segment, uh, I give you uh, a name in a um, few words. Tell me something about them, all right? So, the first one is Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> you know the story about China and Triple H. <laughs> he was unfaithful. Uh, <laughs> uh, he set uh, her on the <laughs> All right. The second one, Roddy Coleman. Legend. Legend. Oh, yeah. Uh, the third one, Adam Copeland. A.K.A. A. A. Edge uh, from uh, from E.W. Adam Copeland. Edge, real name. The rated R superstar Edge. You know him? Bye. You know him? Uh, the, the second one, Ric Flair. Nature boy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute legend. And the last one, uh, Sarah Page, aka the China Syndrome. Huge nerd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome. Oh, I have so, uh, just just a question. Yeah, go ahead, my friend. Uh, how many hours uh, you you train uh, uh, every week? Yeah, each week. 
So I train at the minute. I'm two and a half hours a day, six days a week. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And are you um, currently on a, a diet? And what kind of uh, diet you uh, you have for being uh, like that? You know. <laughs> So right now, um, because I'm 19 weeks out of my first show, I'm on a cut. Um, so okay. that's like, you, they've cut my carbs slightly, and my trainer has. Um, so it's all clean food, like eggs, chicken, okay. ground, ground beef, as Americans call it, um, <laughs> vegetables, that kind of thing. Not fun, right. but it's worth it to get where I want to be. Yes, but... Uh, hard work pays off, you know. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. How did you find out uh, China uh, was dead, was passed away? Uh, on the internet, on the newspaper? Which, on yeah, television? It came up on Google, it came up on my Facebook feed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. And I imagine that was so sad oh, because, yeah. 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 Yes. And finally, uh, thank you so much uh, for this uh, short interview, you know. And uh, finally, as usual, my partner, Benoit, a.k.a. Uh, Nostrada Ben, it's all about the French prophet, you know. And he, uh, he will try to predict the future of our guests. So go ahead, my friend. Okay. First of all, thank you so much, Sarah, for the interview. Like I said, uh, Joe. <laughs> Yeah, it was a pleasure to uh, to know you. Uh, it was an experience. It was uh, it was very good. Okay, I predict to you that uh, probably you're gonna play a China in a eventual uh, wrestling documentary. May maybe Dark Side of the Ring. Yeah, maybe Dark Side of the Ring or a, a biopic. A movie about her life. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Why not? Yeah. Why not? So uh, we were with uh, Sarah Page, a.k.a. China Syndrome, uh, bodybuilder uh, herself. So thank you so much for the interview. Uh, thank you for your generous time. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, always a pleasure to discuss with a, uh, a cosplay, uh, you know. <laughs> and I wish you all the best. Uh, take care, my friend, and have a great one. Thank you for having me. Take care, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>